it was really a prayer place for 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 him. So no, no, it's a, it's a big big danger for for the, the Japanese horses or travel. Mm. Yeah, and we mentioned right at the start of the programme that really good quality horses like the Fugue and Al Kazim are big prices for the Arc de Triomphe. So strong is the race this year, 14 to 1, the pair of them. And they met fairly recently in Ireland at Leopardstown in the Irish Champion Stakes. Trading Leather was also involved. The Fugue seems to be getting better and better this year, uh, Sally Ann. Al Kazim, do you think he might have plateaued out after a great early start of the season? Um, I know I spoke to James Doyle after this race, and James Doyle agrees with me that this horse is better going right-handed. He's unbeaten right-handed this year. He said he just felt that, you know, the few got to him at, at the end. The horse just isn't as at ease going left-handed as he is at, at going right. The ground also wasn't as soft as they thought it was. He said it rode a lot um, a lot firmer than they, they thought it was going to be. Um, I think with the rain that we, we probably will get, the ground is likely to be soft um, for the arc. I think al Kazim James Doyle walked the track a couple of weeks ago when he was over for the for racing in Longchamp he thinks that the track will suit Al Kazim really well I, I, it's a horse that I really love and I think it will suit him the Fugue it, she is ground dependent she doesn't like it too soft so it will all depend how the ground comes up on the day and Vance on your opinion of those two excellent horses Al Kazim and the Fugue the, the, the Fugue has been impressive um, for her last start so I, I respect uh, a lot her candidature and John Gosden who uh, knows a uh, uh, very good percentage when he, he comes in, in front. But uh, Al Kazim, I saw him in, in Ascot, and, and I, I said after Ascot, it would be a, he would be a big, a big um, pretendant for, for the act. But after that um, campaign in, in the summer, I'm a little bit less confident mm. for him. Interesting, though, just to go back to what you said about going that way around, left-handed, because, of course, al Kazim was beaten at York prior to Leopardstown as well. Yeah, they're the two times he's been beaten mm. this year were both right-handed tracks. And it's just interesting, you know, listening to James Doyle's opinion, he, he does say the horse is more at ease um, going going right-handed and you know he he definitely he thinks that and I think the the softer ground if we do if it does come up very soft I think it will suit him he is a big price he's gone out since the since the trial races in Longchamp at the weekend because we've bought you know other horses have gone uh, in shorter prices I think he's worth a bet yeah okay so it's all bubbling up nicely isn't it uh, every single one of these horses we've mentioned so far look really really talented what now of the three-year-old Colt can they make an impact too? Yes, the uh, Prignel was the most recent trial in France, a, a race with a, a really rich record of providing ARC winners. Uh, Twelve winners uh, of the Neil have gone on to win the ARC. Not since the Rail Link and Hurricane run there in 2006 and 2005, but you go back as well, more recently, Dalakani, Sindar, Monjeur won both as well. So, Sally Ann, can, um, can the Neil bounce back as a, as a form guide for the ARC this time around? I think it's interesting that Kazuna, is the, the winner of the Niel this year, has been so well backed and supported since this success. Um, he just beat Ruler of the World by a short head, but it, it's very interesting. And all four in this race, once again, all four are entered in the arc, so it could be a, an, in, an interesting trial race. Yeah, I mean, back in England, Vincent, everyone was delighted to see Ruler of the World run so well, but uh, there wasn't much between he and Kizuna at the line here. Yes, but Kizuna made something very hard because he, he went uh, on the outside that day and it was very hard to, to come uh, here. But of course, uh, Ruler of the World uh, finished very fast. I was not uh, crazy about the, the David Epson that year. I did not think it was a, a big year for, for that race, but. Uh, he, he ran very well, but uh, I, I think uh, Kiduna is uh, is very better than him, and I think he has, if he has a good draw, if you take Atake uh, rides a, a good race, uh, he could be he could be a winner. Uh, no problem for the ground with him, good soft. It's be very important. I, I think Kiduna could be a very good bet. He, he's uh, something like eight to one. Mm. It's um, it's interesting, very. There's a glint in Vincent's eye as he talks about Kizuna. I wonder if there is a glint in uh, Kizuna's trainer's eye. His trainer is Shozo Suzaki, who explained to us that he feels that there is much more to come with this horse. あの、まだ残り<笑> あの、
スプリント車を魔界したっていうのも大きいし何よりの状態が本当の手探りだから何パーセントかと言われたら70パーセントあるかないかわからないぐらいだからもうちょっと、えー、今度はパーフェクトに持っていけると思います。So, this improvement to come from Kizuna, that must be music to your ears, Van Song. More yes, improvement. Yes, but I, I really think the, the way he won is、um, very spectacular because it was very hard that day at Ronchon to come on the outside and to win.、Uh, you, you saw Trev,、um, you, you, you saw Orfev, they, they, they came on the, on the inside and it was a big advantage.、Mm -hmm. he, he won on the outside and.、Um, No, no, I, I think it's a, it's a very, very good horse. It was a good Prignel. We had、uh, Flynn Shire, who was、uh, very impressive in, in the Grand Prix de Paris, but he's definitely a, a horse for good ground,、mm -hmm. so he didn't have his, his ground.、Uh, Ukovango is,、uh, in the contrary, a horse for soft ground. So,、uh, no, no, I think Kizuna could be a, a winner, and、uh, it would be fantastic, more fantastic, I think, for Japanese than Orfer, because it's used like Atake, the, the rider, and he's a, so, such a, a star in、uh, Japan,、uh, it would be fantastic. Yeah, and just to、um, exhaust that point that Van Sons just introduced, Salian, the third and fourth there, Okavango and Flintshire, are, are they out of arc contention now, or do you think they can still step forward and improve?、Um, Flintshire is a horse that I think he, he's a very good horse, he's very talented, but obviously he doesn't like soft ground. He's been beaten on softer ground the, the two times that he's run on it this year, and his jockey Maxim Grion has said that it doesn't suit him at all. I think that's really the, the strong point, is if the ground is soft in the arc, it will be very hard to support Flintshire.、Um, Okavango He's starting to show weaknesses. He's starting to show that he's perhaps not as good as people thought earlier in the year. It would be great if Andre Fab did win this race. He's the record holder for this race as a trainer with already seven wins. So it would be amazing if, if he had a, another, an eighth win this year.、Mm. Well, I'll ask you for a, a definitive pre de Light Triumph selection before too long, but we mustn't、uh, ever forget that this whole day is about absolute quality. So many Group 1 races on the Arc de Triomphe card as well to enjoy. Yes, just take a look at some of these races.、Uh, a glittering day's racing.、Uh, don't forget, Sunday, the 6th of October.、Uh, we start off with the sprinters, the Group 1,、uh, Qatar Prix de la Baie. Then the classic hopefuls for next year will go the Phillies in the Marcel Boussac and the boys in the Prix Jean Luc Lagardere. The Prix L'Opera is the fourth on the card. The Arc is the fifth. A massive Qatar Arabian World Cup race taking place over 2,000 metres as well. Then the Prix de la Forêt. Then the Prix de Cadran, and if that is not enough, then one of the hardest handicaps of the entire year to solve, race number nine on there. Let's just, before we finish our program, just、uh, signal、uh, a couple of horses to watch out for who are star horses in their own right.、Uh, Moonlight Cloud, first of, off.、Uh, she has had a tremendous season. She's going to run in the Prix de la Forêt, isn't she, Sally Ann? Yes, she's entered in the Prix de la Forêt. She was so impressive this day in the Prix Jacques Le Marois. Um, it was a, a great result. She beats Olympic Glory, who has also entered in the Foray,、uh, Intello, who we saw again, who, who's entered in the Arc, and Declaration of War, who's in the Foray as well. So all four of them are, are entered in races on, on Arc Weekend.、Um, she was so impressive. The, the two Group Ones in one week for Freddie Head. She's now had a little bit of a rest, just over a month's rest,、um, before coming to, to the Foray. I think she's an amazing mare who will be retired to stud at the end of the year, so it would be great to see her win the, the Foray before that. Yeah, she's a super. A super horse, Van Song. Yes, it's a big star. As we saw in the Prix Jacques Le Marois, one mile it's a, it's a distance limit for her. The Prix de la Forêt is seven furlongs. It would be perfect for, for her. And、uh, yes, she will be one of the, of the stars of the weekend, definitely. Do you think she should win? Yes. Yeah. Yes, but the, the seven furlongs in Le Champ is t a strange、uh, track.、Huh? So sometimes you can be、uh, very unlucky on that,、um, on that distance. But、yeah. uh, it's, uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a big, big, big.、Uh, Favorite logically. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Logically, she's the one. And the whole card starts with that 1000 meter,、uh, a big sprint race,、uh, the Prix de l'Abbé. And there was a recent trial for it、um, at Longchamp, the Prix de Petit Couvert, and it ended in, in a dead heat between、uh, Merza and Dibage.、Uh, this, s a l l y a n n was a really exciting finish. There were four horses in line, weren't they? I know. I spoke to Michael Bell after this race. He told me I was only beaten a neck and I was fourth.、Um, I think it's brilliant. It's It's great to see a French horse in a, in a top sprint. You, it's so rare that, you know, it's so more likely that the English horses come over here and, and take all the, the sprint races. So we had an English and French dead heat between Dibage for Alain Duroy Dupre and Merza for Ray Guest. 
a great finish in this race and all four home who finished within a, a neck of each other all four are entered in the Abbey so it could be a, a great race to see all four turn up again yeah 12 months ago Vincent Wizkid won but before that English domination yes. really and I, I think that sure it would be English another time I'm not crazy about uh, the pre this Prix de, de Petit Couvert I don't think uh, Dibaj uh, Mirza Catcall uh, have the, um, the power to, 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 to win a, a Prix de l'Abbaye um, Wizkid for a biscuit won before in Deauville but She's not a true champion, so we hope we'll have other sprinters for, for the Prix de I, I don't think the winner it was in, in the Prix de Petit Couvert. Mm. Well, the, the, the lesson is, surely, do not be late. If you're tuning in for Arc Day, uh, or actually going to Paris itself for, for all the fun of the, the big atmosphere at Longchamp, big race day, be there nice and early, because that uh, five furlong sprint uh, gets us off to a really explosive start. But we come, of course, full circle to the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, and we can get now a final assessment from our two special guests today. We've looked at Vincent a lot of form, who comes out on top for you? I would say the um, uh, Japanese forecast, so uh, Kizuna and uh, Orfebvre. Yeah. Mm. Hard to believe uh, Deep Impact was 2006, but you think those memories will go? Uh, yes, yes. Deep Impact uh, had a very bad race in Longchamp in the arc. He came very true early. I think you take Take, uh, I hope he won't make the... Uh, won't make the uh, this mistake that year. So no, no Kizuna and Orfebvre could, could be uh, very... Terrible yeah. and uh, hard to beat. Yeah, mm. and you think Kizuna would be a bigger story because of the jockey? Yes, mm. yes, but uh, the hood, the, the hood of Kizuna will be probably uh, bigger than uh, Orfev, so it could be uh, interesting to, to beat uh, Kizuna. Yeah, mm. so Vincent, Kizuna. Vincent goes for Kizuna and Orfevre. Sally Ann, who do you fancy? I think it's going to be very hard to beat Christophe Sumion on Orfev. He's going to go all out, all guns blazing, to try and make up for last year's defeat. Trev, with her turn of foot, could come and catch him like Solomia did last year. So I think my head says that it's going to be between uh, Orfev and Trev, but my heart will be cheering for Al-Kazim coming up the straight. Oh, it's a fantastic race. Vincent, Sally Ann, thank you very much. I'm cheering on Trev myself. I thought that turn of foot in the, in the Verme was fantastic, and what a moment that would be for Frank. I hope you enjoy the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe and all of the other races. Thank you very much for watching.